you get a fatality and you get a fatality and everybody dies. Hi friends, I'm Ricky with Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 Mortal Kombat crossovers. For this list, we'll be looking at the best Mortal Kombat crossovers, be it as DLC in NetherRealm series or when the famed fighting characters appeared in other franchises. Round 10, fight. Number 10, Mortal Kombat vs. DC Universe. Observed in a vacuum, Mortal Kombat vs. DC Universe is an above-average fighter centering around a crossover that came out of nowhere. As one of Midway's final releases before filing for bankruptcy, it is difficult to see Mortal Kombat vs. DC Universe as anything but a failure. Mortal Kombat's iconic gore had to be toned down to accommodate DC's brand, resulting in a game that did little to satisfy longtime fans or attract newcomers. In the long run, Mortal Kombat vs. DC Universe was a stepping stone to NetherRealm Studios' Mortal Kombat reboot and Injustice series. The Joker wins. Number 9, Johnny Cage, WWE Immortals. Yeah, yeah, John Cena is a 15-time world champion. It's cute. NetherRealm Studios teamed up with Phosphor Game Studios to create WWE Immortals, a mobile fighting game that mixed wrestling with superheroes. That doesn't really seem fair. Anyways, as WWE Immortals borrowed elements from NetherRealm's fighting games, it was only fitting that a Mortal Kombat character made an appearance, and Johnny Cage was the perfect fighter for the job. I've dealt with NetherRealm demons, Quan Chi sorcery, and Raiden's boring speeches. This crossover was worth it solely for the trailer, as Cage delivers a splendid heel promo calling out John Cena, Kane, and The Rock. While WWE Immortals was shut down in 2019, the memory of the devil's favorite demon chokeslamming Cage will live on forever. And now that they're immortals, let's see what they can do. I'd frame that. I'm coming for you. Number 8. Kratos. Mortal Kombat 2011. You will not see the end of this day. Following the closure of Midway Games and the creation of NetherRealm Studios, 2011's Mortal Kombat reboot represented a new beginning for the franchise. It also marked the first time guest characters would appear in the series, with God of War's Kratos being playable in Mortal Kombat 9's PS Vita and PlayStation 3 versions. The Greek demigod proved to be an excellent fit for a gory fighting game like Mortal Kombat, even if some of the fatalities had to be altered to suit Kratos' character. More than anything, Kratos opened the floodgates for other characters to face off against the likes of Scorpion and Sub-Zero. Number 7. Scorpion. Drawn Together. Oh my god! You're from Mortal Kombat?! Be it Disney cartoons or Pokemon, Comedy Central's Drawn Together parodied everything and anything under the sun. Among those subjected to the occasional punchline were video games, and Mortal Kombat even got a special cameo when Scorpion applied to be Xander's roommate. My special move is the reach around! For a scene that doesn't even last 20 seconds, Drawn Together accomplishes quite a lot. This crossover is presumably the closest Scorpion will ever get to executing a fatality on Link from The Legend of Zelda. Impressive! Number 6. Scorpion, Sub-Zero, Reptile, and Raiden. NBA Jam, Tournament Edition. Maverick, down by eight! Sub-Zero, rejected! In the mid-90s, these two Midway titles were absolute hits in the arcades, so the opportunity for them to cross over was something Midway could not pass up. Of course, the idea of basketball players traveling to another realm to take place in a fighting tournament is a terrible, terrible idea, as Shaq can attest to. The other way does work, as we get to see the three multicolored ninjas, plus Raiden slam some high-flying dunks. These characters can be unlocked by inputting specific initials and birth dates at the opening screen. Oh, and as an added bonus, Mortal Kombat's co-creator Ed Boon is also an unlockable character. Shoots for three! That's a lucky five! Number 5. Raiden. Unreal Championship 2, The Leandry Conflict. Uh. 
As the first entry in the Unreal series to be published by Midway Games, Unreal Championship 2 The Leandri Conflict is chock full with references to Mortal Kombat. The game's announcer can be replaced by the one used in Mortal Kombat's 6th generation titles, while the Leandri Conflict focuses predominantly on melee combat, even going as far as to have brutal moves akin to fatalities. Last but not least, Mortal Kombat's Raiden can not only be faced as an NPC, but is an unlockable character. The electrifying crossover made an already awesome game all that more incredible. Lucky shot. Number 4. Scorpion, PsyOps, The Mindgate Conspiracy Considering PsyOps The Mindgate Conspiracy is a single-player shooter with a heavy focus on psychic powers, Scorpion might not seem like the most obvious candidate for a crossover. Midway Games got around this issue by including Scorpion as a character skin for PsyOps' protagonist, basically turning the Mortal Kombat fighter into a fashion statement. While not the most ambitious of crossovers, PsyOps The Mindgate Conspiracy makes up for it by being a highly entertaining third-person shooter with an awesome, overpowered main character. There's just something amusing about raining havoc on hapless enemies while cosplaying as Scorpion. Number 3. Raiden and Sub-Zero – Injustice 2 Will you aid in this realm's protection? I do what I must to return home. Around a decade after Midway closes shop, Injustice 2 released to a standing ovation and alongside Mortal Kombat 10, reaffirmed that NetherRealm Studios was in top form. Building on the precedent set by its predecessor, Injustice 2 welcomed Raiden and Sub-Zero as DLC characters who slot in seamlessly alongside Batman and Dictator Superman. Injustice 2 even references the events of Mortal Kombat vs. DC Universe through character banter When we last met, I respected you. and Raiden and Sub-Zero reminisce about an unjust world in Mortal Kombat 11, creating a link between two franchises that goes beyond just cool crossovers. I dreamt of a strange and unjust world. With a dark night and a caped wonder. How could you know my dream? Number 2. The Terminator. Mortal Kombat 11. You are also a cyborg. No, just cybernetically enhanced. You will be terminated. Since the reboot, all of the Mortal Kombat entries have featured a plethora of cameos and crossovers from other notable franchises. This includes Freddy Krueger, Jason Voorhees, and both Alien and Predator. Yet, out of all the iconic movie crossovers, there is one that stands tall above the rest, and it's not just for Arnie's iconic status as the killing machine. The opening banter sequences before the Terminator fights most of the Mortal Kombat characters are filled with hilarious references to multiple Arnold Schwarzenegger movies. For example, Have you killed anyone? Yeah, but they were all bad. Why make that distinction? And, Oh, can't. Gotta get to the chopper. Now. Hell, even Jingle All The Way gets a nod. Are you sure about that? Yes. Show me your speed. All right then. It's turbo time. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure to go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Scorpion. Injustice, Gods Among Us. So In 2013, NetherRealm Studios released Injustice Gods Among Us, a Mortal Kombat game that just happened to feature only DC characters. To fix that, Scorpion was announced as a DLC. As Injustice takes place in quite a grim DC timeline, the Mortal Kombat ninja does not feel out of place, especially once Scorpion got a makeover from Jim Lee, a comic book artist with an incredible resume. To hell with you! Even if Injustice 2 was probably the better game, Gods Among Us represented how far Mortal Kombat had come since the final days of Midway Games, and the addition of Scorpion brought full circle what Mortal Kombat vs. DC Universe had begun. There is no justice. It doesn't get much better than beating the hell out of Superman with Scorpion, although not allowing brutal fatalities on DC characters is kinda weak, but baby steps. Alright guys, Thank you so much for stopping by. Please let me know down in the comments who your favorite crossover character is. Check out this video over here, and I'll see you next time.